Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the send object command to email an invoice or whatever report you want to in Microsoft Access with just one click. Well, it's one click to like generate everything and pop up the email form and you can edit it and then you can send it. And, oh, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Today's question comes from James in Cheyenne, Wyoming, one of my Platinum members. James asks, is it possible to send an invoice directly to a customer by just clicking on a button on the order form itself? Right now, I've got to click to open the invoice report and then click the send button and then copy and paste their email address and type in a little message and a subject line and it's all just a big pain. Okay, can all of this be automated? Yes, James, it can. There's lots of different things you can do. In fact, I've covered a different method to do this in my other send email video, which we'll talk about at the end of class, but I'm going to show you a real simple way to do it that literally involves one line of code. So this is a developer video, developer, right? Developer. Um, we will need some VBA, but like I said, just one line. So don't be scared of it. So if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video first. It's about 20 minutes long. It covers everything you need to know to get started. VBA is easy. It's not scary. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you have to do, but go watch this first so you got a little background. And you should also know how to get a value from an open form. We're gonna get the, the customer's email address from the open customer form. So go watch this video too. Okay, so here I am in my tech help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want, so you'll find the links down below. And right now, if I wanna send someone an, uh, an email with their invoice in it, right, I've gotta open up the customer form, open up the order form, find the, the in, bleh, I can't talk today, find the invoice I wanna send. Let me slow down, too much coffee. Click the invoice button that generates the invoice, okay? Then I've gotta click, I can either save it as a PDF or I can click the email button right here to send it through Outlook, right? Pick PDF, hit okay, and then Outlook should open and there's my email but I've still got to copy and paste their, uh, their email address, which I got to you know, switch back over here, find it. I, and I can't, look at, see, I can't. I can't click behind it because this guy's in the front and it's keeping the focus. I can't click on it. And it's, it's just a pain. And you got to type in the subject, you got to, no, let's automate this. All right, I'm going to cancel this. Okay, what I want is just a button where I can click on it here and it says, just email this. And it'll populate all that stuff for me and send it out. All right, so right click design view. Let me get rid of you. I'm gonna slide you over here. All right, let's make this a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna copy and paste it. Control C, Control V. Slide you over here. And we'll put in here email it. All right, give the button a good name. Not command 14, I'll call it email button, whatever. All right, right click, build event. I'll bring up your code editor, right? You're in the email button click. Now, what we want is do command dot send object. Okay, send object lets you send any object from the database to someone by email. Okay, come down here and pick AC send report, comma. What's the object name? Okay, in this case, it's the order invoice R. That's the name of my report. You can see it right down there, right? Order invoice, or order invoice, or I can't talk today, man, what's going on? I had, uh, I had some dental work done earlier, but I'm not going to blame that. Okay. <laughs> Comma. Now output format, they don't give you a list of output format like they did with the, uh, the object type. I, I don't know why they, uh, access team. Hello. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, there should be some IntelliSense for this. All right. But it's AC format PDF is what you want. And if you press enter right now, that should capitalize property like that. See that, the camel case, right? AC capital F format. So that's right. Uh, I'll show you where I got this from in a little bit. All right, but continuing on, there's even more stuff in here, comma. Okay, now we're on the two. Now the two is the email address of the recipient. Okay, so if you have the customer form open and the customer's email address is visible right here, you can get that by grabbing forms, customer F, email. Okay, now we can put a check to make sure that this is something before we click on this button, and I'll cover that in the extended cut. 
All right, but for now, you gotta make sure that this form is open and there's the email address right there, okay? So what would this be here? It'd be forms, customer F, customer form, email is the name of the field, okay? Comma, now I'm gonna go down to the next line. The next one is CC and then BCC, but I'm gonna just ignore those. You can, if you wanna like CC a copy of it to your accounting department every time you send it, or you wanna BCC it to yourself, whatever. Sometimes if, if I'm sending stuff that I wanna follow up on myself, I'll BCC it to myself. That way it'll come into my inbox and I can just snooze it. Okay, so I'm gonna go comma, comma, subject is next, but I'm gonna go to the next line. So line continue, enter, tab in. What's the subject? Okay, um, uh, invoice attached. All right, if you wanna get fancy, you could put the invoice number in here, right? Invoice, order ID, and attach like that. Okay, that gets the order ID off of the report that you're on, right? Or actually we're on the order form, that's fine, either one. Right, both should have the order ID. Okay, comma, message text is what do you wanna be in the body of the message? All right, please find your invoice attached. All right, now, edit message is, the default is you want Outlook to pop up and say you can edit it, make changes to it, you know, add other attachments, change details. I like that option. If I'm sending one-off invoices one at a time, right, then I want that on. Uh, you can set it to false, and if you do, Outlook will just send it in the background and you won't have to see it. So it's completely up to you. I'm gonna leave the default like it is, all right? And don't worry about template file, it's a more advanced setting. I'll cover that in my full course. All right, but that's all you need right there. Okay, save it. And now let me give it a quick debug compile. Always a good idea to do that once in a while. All right, close that. Close it, close it, close it. All right, open it up. Orders. Oh, I moved it down here and saved it. Let's put it back up. See, if you make changes to a form and then save it, it'll save its position too. So I'm gonna move it right there and hit Control S, save it in that spot. All right, close it, open it up again and we'll hit email it, and there it goes, and boom, there it is, perfect, look at that. And it says invoice one attached, All right? That's the, one is the, is the order ID. Please find your invoice attached, you put whatever you want down here, and there's my order invoice RPDF, which is a copy of the, uh, the invoice. And now at this point, all you have to do is hit send, and it will go out. I'm not gonna send it, I'm gonna hit close, and that will generate an error message. It says set the, uh, the send object action was canceled. If you cancel it, you can just hit end and it stops. I will teach you how to deal with that in the extended cut. I'm also gonna show you in the extended cut how to customize this. So instead of order invoice r.pdf, you can put something a little more like, you know, the, the invoice one attached. And here you could say, you know, invoice uh, one, two, three, four, for Joe Smith. And that'll be the file name then, .pdf. All right, so that'll be covered in the extended cut as well. So where did I get that AC format PDF from? Well, I came in here in a Google machine and I typed in MS Access and then send object and then format. And it will find the Microsoft right here, send object method. Most of this stuff is on Microsoft's website, right? Scroll down and there's a list of the output formats right there. You can output as HTML, RTF, SNP, it's the old snapshot format. I don't really think they support that anymore. Plain text, XLS, blah, 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 a bunch of other ones, and there's AC format PDF. That's pretty much the only one that I'm using ever. Uh, maybe once in a while in an Excel format if it's just table-based, but I usually stick to PDFs if you're gonna send email. And here's all the rest of those things that we talked about before down here too. All right, so that's that's where I got that from. Honestly, I got it from a book probably 10, 15 years ago, but that's where you can find it. <laughs> I'll put a link to this page down below. If you want to learn more about sending email, I have another tech help video where I go through a different method for sending email through Outlook. In this one, I go through a lot more programming, but I use a different method. It's a little more difficult, but it has sometimes better results if you want a more in-depth solution. And in the extended cut, I show you how to send mass email to multiple contacts using a loop. So you can say, send an invoice to everybody in the database who has uh, not paid it, right? Send all the late invoices out. So I cover that in the extended cut of this video. And I've also got my access email seminar where I cover everything you could possibly wanna know about sending emails from access. We even build an email server 
in here. So you can create, you know, mass emails. You can send them out in batches. You can put merge codes in them. You could send them through uh, Outlook. You could send them through Gmail. You could send them through any mail server, any SMT server that you want. We go, there's lots of stuff covered in this one. We even build an email server. So you can have one machine sitting over there in the corner that gets all of the email from everybody on your network that needs to send email. It just goes in and out through one machine. So everyone's machines aren't busy sending emails. So lots of stuff, lots of stuff covered in this one. That's the email seminar. I'll put a link to that on my website as well. All right, so in the extended cut for the members, I'm gonna show you how to specify that custom PDF file name. So right there, the PDF will give it a custom file name. We'll deal with that error if the user cancels this. So if this opens up and they're like, no, I don't wanna send it, I wanna make some changes first. They hit cancel, you, we won't get that error message, right? And we'll make it so that it verifies their email address. So if the, cust the customer report or customer form doesn't have an email address showing, then we won't send the email. That's all covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members get access to the databases that I build and my code vault and lots more. Y'all get free classes every month and there's so many, so many reasons to join. But that will be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing. Free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay. Want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my access forum.
We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.